You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candice. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so let's talk about Miss Nicki Minaj and Migos rapper Quavo. All right, so if you guys didn't know, Quavo actually came out with his own solo album separate from the Migos. The album is called Quavo Huncho, and it's actually number one on Apple Music right now. On this new project, he has a song called Huncho Dreams, and he's basically copying off of Nicki Minaj's song, Barbie Dreams, where she talks about her Barbie dreams about situations having to do with other celebrities. Well, on his song, Huncho Dreams, it appears that he's not talking about dreams. He's talking about things that allegedly happened in reality, specifically with Nicki Minaj. Y'all, he said him and Nicki Minaj was doing it. They used to do the nasty. He talked about extravagant gifts that he got her. He said a lot. Now we're gonna get deep into his lyrics, but real quick, I wanna show y'all this video of Quavo at his listening party where he has this skit played where this woman is opening up a Chanel box. She's super excited and it's very reminiscent of the time Nicki Minaj put on her Instagram of herself being excited about a Chanel gift that she got from somebody. And that somebody apparently was Quavo cause he's sitting up here making fun of it at his listening party. Check this video out. This corner right here. This is the first step of uh, Huncho Reality. It's called Huncho Dreams. And let's do it. Alright, y'all saw that. So clearly Quavo is poking fun at Nicki Minaj and the fact that he bought her Chanel bags. She posted it on Instagram and she was super excited about it. Now, in the song Huncho Dreams, what he says exactly is, she said I hurt her feelings 52 times. She said I hurt her feelings 52 times. Call up Queen Nicki, the queen can't flex on a young bull. Call up Queen Nicki, the queen can't flex on the young bull. Made her scream, Chanel I bought her two of them. Made her scream. Chanel, I bought a two on. You can check IG, cause when she post it, go up. You check IG, cause when she post it, go up. Is she for keeps? Only if she come with two of them. Is she for keeps? For keeps. Only if she come with two on. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to break it up, cause y'all know the Migos, Quavo, them, they don't enunciate. And I don't always enunciate, but y'all understand what I'm saying when I speak. But with Quavo, his words are always slurring together. I'm just saying. But anyways, in this part of the song, he's saying that he bought her Chanel bags, he made her scream, which we saw in her Instagram video. He said, you can check Instagram, and I checked, and it was there. She got her Chanel bags, and she was screaming. Now, there's even parts of his song where he's saying that he had sex with her. Like, he said a lot of stuff. But before I get to that, for people who didn't understand what Quavo was talking about when he said that Nicki Minaj said that he hurt her feelings. She said I hurt her feelings 52 times. And on that part, he's referring to an interview she did where she said he hurt her feelings because he didn't back her up with that whole Cardi B versus Nicki Minaj situation with the motorsport song. So I texted um Quavo and I said, hey, just, you know, could you back me up on this? Because, you know, I don't want people to think I'm lying. What do I have to lie about? And um, he didn't back me up. And, you know, he texted me. He was, he was like, I would, I would go on Twitter and back you up if you were my girl. LOL. And that hurt because he's somebody like I love him, you know? Quavo told me, I'm not gonna go on Twitter and address that shit, man. Like if I do an interview, you know, then I'll then I'll address it. And I was like, yikes. It hurt my feelings to know that people would watch me be slaughtered and no not one person will 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 step in to say the truth. 
Okay, so yeah, that's what Quavo's talking about where he said, she said I hurt her feelings 52 times. She said I hurt her feelings 52 times. Now, in this same interview, she kept saying, Quavo's my baby, he's my baby. Like, I just call him that. Like, Quavo is my baby. I love Quavo. Nah, boo. According to Quavo, he was more than your baby. He was your baby Zeddy. <laughs> well, almost your baby Zeddy if you letting him hit it. Check out this part of the song where he's saying that him and Nicki Minaj used to do the nasty. Okay, so the first part he says, Nigga don't mean to brag. Nigga don't mean to brag. No. I be trying to keep it cool, but I sniped your ass. I be trying to keep it cool, but I snuck your ass. And then he makes a reference to Nicki Minaj's song that she has with Takashi 69 called Fifi. Check this out. He says, No Fifi, I ski ski on your face ass. No Fifi, I ski ski Fifi on your face ass. And then he says, She called up Huncho to come tap that ass. And then he talks about pulling on Nicki Minaj's hair. He said, pulling on your weave, cross the room when I tap that ass. Pulling on your weave, cross the room when I tap that ass. Y'all, and then he threw in a little remix to Drake's song, Kiki. You know, Kiki, do you love me? Yeah. So basically, he did the Kiki challenge. He talking about, Nicki, do you love me? <laughs> Nicki, do you love me? Why you crying? Then he low-key caught her thirsty. He said, she don't want to be a queen unless she got me. She don't want to be a queen unless she got me. And then he went further saying, she doesn't want to be on scene unless they're married. Queen. She don't want to be on scene unless we marry. And then the ultimate disrespect in my opinion, he told her to bounce her ass like Iggy. Like Iggy Azalea. Bounce that ass, nigga. Shake it like Iggy. Of all the people he want her to bounce her butt like, why would she want to bounce it like Iggy? Shade, but no shade, but yes, shade. Iggy Azalea cannot dance, but he want her to bounce her ass like Iggy. I'm done. I'm done. Throw the whole computer away. <laughs> Y'all, it's a mess. And then he basically ended the song by apologizing. If I hurt your feelings, I am truly sorry. the jungle, so far. Listen, y'all, I know he called it Huncho Dreams. Like I said, that's a play on words because he's copying off of Nicki Minaj's Barbie Dreams. And we all know in her Barbie Dream song, she said some things that were flat out not true because it's supposed to be in her dreams. Like clearly it's a dream that she was effing 50 Cent for a powerful hour. But with Quavo, listen, I don't think he's joking. I think he's so serious. He throwing shade and clearly he is officially Team Cardi B, okay? I know the Barb's and the Barty gang are probably in the comment section right now like, why you gotta bring Cardi B into it? Because it relates, okay? Cardi B is married to Offset, Quavo is in the Migos group with Offset, and after that confrontation at New York Fashion Week, and Nicki Minaj going on her queen radio and basically snitching on Cardi B, and now Cardi B done caught a case from Nicki Minaj snitching, oh, Quavo had to choose sides, believe that. And the side is Cardi B's side. I'm just saying. <laughs> Offset was like, listen, we done with Nicki Minaj and you need to do something about it. We not cool with her no more, so you not cool. So let's make a song. <laughs> I think that's what happened. And on top of all that, clearly he's not having sex with Nicki Minaj no more because he got a new boo. Y'all know his new boo is that up and coming rapper, Sweetie. Or Saweetie. Sweetie, whatever her name is. She cute. I don't know if she can rap. I have to go listen to her music, but... Listen, he got a whole new boo. I'm pretty sure Nicki Minaj, he is not your baby. My baby. <laughs> like Quavo is my baby. I love Quavo. Quavo is not her baby after this. But listen, y'all, I'm making this video before Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio. I know she's supposed to be doing Queen Radio, so maybe she's going to address it. If she does, y'all know I'm going to come back with another video. Okay, so for the end of this video, the last thing I want to do is address Quavo's entire album. I've heard snippets. I'm going to be honest, y'all. I do not like him as a solo artist. I don't enjoy his music. Maybe I'm old. I just turned 28. I don't know. Maybe he's in the age range of the, the 19, 20, 21s. I don't know. All I know is I don't really care for his music, and apparently Black Twitter doesn't care for it either. Look at some of these tweets I found. I typed in Quavo's album, and these were some of the first tweets that I saw, and there were so many more just like it, basically saying that his album is trash. You see this one, he talking about listening to Quavo's album, and he put his headphones in the trash can. Y'all, I can't.
And then somebody even threw shade at Cardi at the same time as Quavo talking about Cardi got tired of y'all saying that she don't write her raps. <laughs> so sorry. So she decided to write on Quavo's album. And then this one talking about this Quavo album going double styrofoam, maybe triple trash bin. Who knows? Y'all, there were so many more. I'm not going to read no more because honestly, y'all, I have not listened to the whole album. I'm going to take a listen. Maybe I'll come back with an album review if it's worth it, but I don't know. But alright y'all, I'm done with this. I need to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about this Quavo song throwing all this shade at Nicki Minaj? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, alright? Bye.